why can't I tell you about what I seen in front of me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I don't get that about D1. I, I don't get that. Because I just feel like that's judgmental. Like, we all come from some places. You come from college. I come from college. But I can't tell a nigga off the street that his story don't need to be told because my story is different. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. I think you said something when you said cutthroat. Because I think about it, just his legs. And I think me and Lil Lil Sochlin talked about this, how he dissed cash money at one point. Now, he also dissed No Limit at one point. So, like, what do you think when you see how he was? And how do you, I mean, I see you talking on live a lot. Like, even when you got to Dallas. Like, how do you feel you compare it to how your brother was and the way he was when he would, you know, uh, you know, spit it or talk, you know, talk that talk? Well, we come from my mama. <laughs> <laughs> we got the same mama, and my mama's like that, too. My mom is just a little more on the emotional side. So, we, like... We don't put the emotion behind it. Like, if we feel like we feel, we're going to let you know how we feel. If you don't like it, fuck you. It is what it is, but we're going to be transparent and we're going to be real about it. And I think that's what a lot of people see when it comes to both of us. Like, even with my brother, my brother was a no bullshit person and my brother will slap the piss out of you. Don't get it confused. He will bat you, like they said in New wow. Orleans, will bat the piss out of you in a minute if he feel like you was disrespecting him. Me, per se, I'm kind of like cool, collective on the intellectual side of it, so... You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you about yourself. If I don't like something you did, you don't never got a question. I see people in the street, they be on this internet shit, on them little blocks. And when I see them, I be like, yeah, you posted that, but like, what's up? Like, I won't fight you, but what's up? Like, we could talk about it physically. You went on the internet and did that, but we could definitely talk about it while we're yeah, here. Yeah, like, They don't have nothing to say. They don't got nothing to say because you're doing all that on the internet. Like, it's weird. Wow. I... <sighs> I really, like I said, I, I just thank you for coming to the show today. Oh, I thank y'all for always and, messing and with really, me, even really from the first out. time. Like, oh, we yeah, ever met. We gonna get it's just always been a good connection. Yeah, yeah. Good people. Good people like good people. Well, I think. So, but, you oh, know, but, you know, let's go on to this a little bit more with the Lil Wayne. Um, and the, <clears throat> because I know that um, D1 spoke about. Yeah, D1 said, spoke up for Kendrick. Right. And him being from New Orleans, you know, a lot of people jumped on him for that. What do you feel about that? I don't feel anything. I mean, it is what it is. Some people come from different walks of life. So we can't explain. You know what I'm saying? Like, cookie safe. Like, that's why they got a sidewalk. Some people ain't made for the streets. Wow. Mm. So, I mean, some people come from a different walk of life. I can't never bash a person. They not glorizing, you know, guns and stuff like that. But if this is where I'm come from, why can't I tell you about what I seen in front of me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I don't get that about D1. I, I don't get that. Because I just feel like that's judgmental. Like, we all come from some places. You come from college. I come from college. But I can't tell a nigga off the street that his story don't need to be told because my story is different. Yeah. Like, that's, I don't respect that. I mean, yeah. he, he definitely deserves to have his own opinion and what he believes in. And, of course, always the youth are first. And, and we, we are the influencers. But at the same time, why are we just the influencer? Why is the household? Not the influencer. But it's my saying, job. But is he saying that um, because you're from the streets, your stories can't be told? Or he's saying that show the elevation from the streets to now you're not in the streets no more. And you are so that these young kids don't feel like I just got to be in the streets that this might be a moment in time. But you need to try to get out of here. Don't think that oh, I need to be doing this for the right. rest of my life type of thing. But you got to do that with certain artists, too. Like because at the same time, I think the influence where it went left were more on the the youthful side, more of on the Lil Dirk, young boy side of things. I didn't particularly feel like Rick Ross, Meek Mill. I feel like these people are, like they say, motivational purposes. Like when you look at their life, where they came from and where they are now, that is the example, right? Mm -hmm. They were in the street. They came from the street. They got out the street because they wanted, you know what I'm saying? Let's be realistic about it. To chase your dream as a black man in America, can you chase your dream if you're on a nine to five? Not, 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 not a majority. No. Not majority. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? But some Especially have. some have, and then but majority rules is like it's harder it because is. as a black man, if you you know most black men, it stops at high school education. Mm -hmm. Then you got to go into the workforce where you're not making as much money, but you still have to provide for your family, your household. Nine times out of ten, your parents' household as well, because we're all in a place where economically we're messed up. So it's kind of like. Like I said, I side with him too because I get it because we we are 
you know what I'm saying? We are who they're looking at, but why are the rappers just the ones who need to put out a positive image? I mean, let's be real about it. Is the politicians not really the problems? Mm -hmm. They the ones that's messing up the community. They the ones that's taking the schools from your kids. They the ones that's putting certain things into the schools and taking it out that your kids need. But nobody looks at the politicians and be like, they need to fix the world, but a rapper needs to fix the I world. I think the reason he does that is because of <clears throat> where his gift lies in the music. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why he challenged that so hard. You know, but at the end of the day, I agree with you when it comes down to it, um, because of the way the the books that we read, the way that we take on these characters that we portray when it comes down to spiritualism. You you could look at in the book John the Baptist versus uh, the way Paul or the way Jesus done something. Everybody had different character Correct. traits, the way that they ministered right. to people. So you will see that that John the Baptist type spirit that he has to where he's trying to cultivate what he believes in. But at the end of the day, you also got to understand that that's his ministry and it's like you say, I agree with you in this, but I don't understand that because people do evolve. But I think in the midst of it all, everybody's evolving. Even, so right. I, I mean, even anybody. him, I don't even look at him in no way. Even Rick Ross, I don't even, it's okay for me to look at all of them in a way to where I see the evolution of it all. Right. Does that make sense? It makes a lot to of where sense. I, I'm not going to judge none of them, but I am going to check you if you come to me, me with something. Me, right, you know right. What I'm <laughs> I, can't, I know my ministry. So at the end of the day, if you come to me with it, I'm gonna check you, but but, but all respect to D1 because that's my partner. No, I'm just saying um, we all come from different walks of life, and I just feel like um, if we can't tell an author or a movie, a strip writer that they make these strips, they write these books, they kill people in it, they you know what I'm saying? How it's art. Yeah, and I feel like there is no depiction on art, like there is no limit on art. Art is art. You know what I'm saying? We just have to make sure that the kids understand that with art, some things are real and some things are false. Yeah, and he put on for, and he put on for New Orleans too because oh, he, he represents New Orleans, you, and he's showing um, New Orleans is not just you know murder capital or you right. know stuff like that, but there is another side. There to is it. another side, and that's what I like about what he does. He shows the balance. Not right, only that, you know? not only that, he he come like when he flies to Dallas, he's coming here to go to these youth centers or these right. churches. Yeah. He goes D1 up. Has he, always he, he been, always yeah, trying he's to help. Always now, he been, um, he working out here. Yeah, he's always been a really positive person. He's always been good vibes. Definitely always good vibes. Um, it's just a rap part to throw you off. <laughs> yeah, because that's why you be coming at different people and artists, is, mm -hmm. and you are artists. So I get it. I understand why. You know what I'm saying? It'd be saying, like, if, like if what they say, what, what Erica Badu say, listen, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, if he come for podcasts and say, man, you be interviewing, but you talk about but God I, here, but then I'm going to be like, well, hold, Wait, up, hold, hold up, up now. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. This, you know, this, you know that, you're coming from a job now. You know what I'm saying? But I totally get it. Um, right now, we're, we are in a place where the youth are a bit more um, feeble. You know, their mind hasn't picked up to the status where they're able to distinguish the two, and they do want to imitate the art that they're seeing yeah but at the same time it's our job in the community as a community um with our kids with our kids friends with our families to let them know that some things are real and some things are just for tv and the internet and let, a lot of things are internet fluff yeah we on boss talk 101 yeah we gonna talk